Greetings, everyone. This is your boy, Curtis, a.k.a. Dr. C, checking in with you. I would like to thank everyone for all the support and positive feedback for my videos. I do appreciate it, and I am very grateful for it. I do these because I love to and because I want to empower you to achieve optimal health and well-being. Today, I'll be talking about why blacks have higher rates of cancer. Actually, the number one reason why blacks have higher rates of cancer. And if you think about it, it's a good question. Why do blacks have higher rates of cancer? Blacks do many of the same things that cause cancer or use many of the same products that cause cancer. Blacks consume cigarettes. Blacks consume processed foods. And many blacks don't get enough exercise. So why is it that we have higher rates of cancer? Is it because something that the government's doing? Is it because of corporations? Maybe it's because of a lack of detection. And I'm here to tell you, it's none of that. It is all lies in our skin. The reason why I am brown, and there are many other people around the world who are brown, is because they have melanin in their skin. And melanin is actually a blessing from the divine particularly when you consider that we come from areas where we get lots of sun. And if we did not get this melanin, it would do, the sun, sun's rays would do great damage to our skin. But melanin is actually a pigment which blocks the sun's rays or absorbs them and thereby inhibits a very important nutrient or slows down the production of a very important nutrient. And that nutrient, which is probably the most powerful anti-cancer or pro-health nutrient out there, is vitamin D. And the average African American is not getting enough sunlight exposure, and thereby they are deficient in vitamin D. That is the reason, people. Wasn't that easy? Now, you did not hear that from the mainstream media. You not, are not going to hear that on CNN Black in America. But that's the reason. Now, for Caucasians, since they do not have as much melanin as us, it takes them 10 to 20 minutes of full light exposure to get adequate amounts of vitamin D. And vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin which can be stored and used at different points of the year as we progress. Now, this is important because the, su the summer is actually when the sun's rays are at its highest. And when ideally we should be getting the most amount of sunlight exposure so we can build up our vitamin D and have it available, available to us as we progress into the winter when the sun's rays become weaker and weaker due to the natural order of things on this planet. But that does not happen. Many African Americans stay indoors a lot due to our lifestyles and ignorance. So thereby we get higher rates of cancer particularly colon cancer because this is something that has been shown to have a vitamin D connection or people who have the vitamin D deficiency have been shown to have higher rates of colon cancer and also diabetes so that is the reason why we have higher rates of cancer it's not because of anything the government's doing or any, any other type of external force it has to do with our the natural beautiful pigment in our skin actually absorbing the sunlight and thereby slowing down the process in which we produce vitamin D. Because African Americans and people who have melanin in their skin, it takes them three to times, three to six times as longer to produce vitamin D as does a person who does not have it or a Caucasian American. So that means African Americans in particular have to be out in the sun three to six times longer than does the Caucasian person. So this is a very groundbreaking. Now if you know anything about vitamin D, it has been proven now to number one lower risk of cancer and actually to prevent it. It has been shown to prevent diabetes, to boost the immune system. It's actually been noted that instead of giving people a vaccine, a very toxic one at that, you can just give people sunlight exposure. Because people who have rickets, it has been shown that they usually have very very high rates of infectious diseases and that is because they do not have enough vitamin D 
and vitamin D is an immune boosting nutrient. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen. I do plan on doing an audio, audio program on how to get adequate amounts of vitamin C and how to supplement it into your body. It's something that this is very, very important and something which you know could significantly you know, promote health and well-being here in this country and lower rates of cancer, particularly those of African descent. You know, I know a lot of people, they, you know, immediately that program in your mind is going off. Well, isn't sunlight like bad? Doesn't it cause cancer? And that's absolutely incorrect. There's no studies that have shown that sunlight causes cancer. That is a bunch of fear-mongering. It is a lack of sunlight that causes cancer, not sunlight in of itself. Now, if you're a person of a lighter complexion, you do not want to be getting as much sunlight, but if you're a person of a darker complexion, it is important for you to get adequate amounts of sunlight. And I will detail all this in my audio recording and more, discussing how the, the actual sun blocks and sunscreens are actually det detrimental to African American health, and how they're actually the ones that are causing skin cancer in blacks and whites. So I will talk about this, I'll talk about the benefits of sun gazing, which is a practice of you actually gazing at the sun at certain periods and actually that actually boosting your whole being, boosting your immune system, uh, healing various ailments. It might sound weird to you, but this has been done now for the past couple thousand years. So yes, people, ladies and gentlemen, that is the reason vitamin D deficiency. It has been noted also that a vitamin D deficiency is the reason why there are higher rates of infectious diseases in the winter because during the winter time people get less sunlight or you know people cannot get as much sunlight as they can during the winter the vitamin D levels go down thereby they're at greater risk to get uh, many types of flus so that's what's going on people but just know that the sun is important and the sun is not going to hurt you and since African Americans have a natural pigment in our skin we can be out in the sun as much as possible but there are different periods in which you want to be out in the sun to get certain important rays to actually more effectively produce vitamin D. And I will detail all that and more in my upcoming audio program. So for more information, you can check out the upper right box. And I'll also put research on all the benefits of vitamin D and how vitamin D deficiency can be a huge risk factor in increased rates of cancer. This is your boy Curtis, a.k.a. Dr. C, checking in with you. And you have a wonderful day. Peace.